Hello and welcome back to Mordheim City of the Damned and the adventures of our resurrected unnamed dead warband with me Barden. Now I'm just going to click through here so for anyone that is interested you can hear the story mission update. There is a delicious irony in employing the tools of the enemy against them. Behold how the flames crackle and dance, consuming the last reminder of our foe. Would that all the witch hunters could be brought to such an end. The swords of abolition may try to reform, but never again will they pose such a menace as they once were to our activities in Mordheim. This irritant that has vexed Count Vlad for far too long is now not but a noxious memory. You will be rewarded. Drakenhoff has heard of your exploits here, and the name of your warband is known among the von Karsteins. Loyalty is its own renown, and you have proven your loyalty to the Master. The Weirdstone you send back to Sylvania will accomplish great things. When the time comes, the power within those shards will usher in an era of eternal night and an age that will belong to the undead. These commanders of the Raven Guard, they may look like only so many bones right now, but soon they too will serve the master. Vlad will need leaders to guide the deathless legions he will draw from the Empire's cemeteries. In life, these officers were more than simply fierce warriors. They were tacticians and strategists. Men accomplished in leading regiments and battalions. The imprint of their knowledge clings to these bones. And when they rise again, that knowledge will be utilized once more. Again, they will be commanders. But this time, of the fleshless legions of the Von Karsteins. Still, there is much to be done. The great magic that was conjured by Nagash and recreated by Vanhall demands a vast amount of power to give it shape. You must persist in your hunt for Weirdstone, that the Master might have such power when it is his time to perform the spell of doom. That's all very interesting, but I think uh, Wan Bram and the guys are just happy uh, knocking about in more time and picking up the odd piece of Weirdstone. I'm not sure they want to be um, involved in any kind of legions of undead and um, taking over the whole world. Nice progress. So let's see how um, everyone did. So I'm expecting a lot of XP because we um, killed a lot of uh, enemies, especially with our um, henchmen. So to start with, Wan Bram got a total of 9 XP. He got uh, 4 extra skill points, 1 offense point, and 1 martial advancement. Kevin got a total of 6 XP and 1 martial advancement. Nice progress. Cliff got 7 XP, 1 physical, 2 skill points, and 1 offense point. Axel got 5 XP plus 1 physical advancement. Mammy's boy got um, a total of 9 XP, 1 martial and 1 mental. Sip got a total of 13 XP, including 7 for enemies put out of action. You got 1 martial and 1 mental. The gods are with you. Lovebite has now hit rank 7, she got 6 XP, 1 mental and 2 skill points. Nick got uh, light wounds, um, that I think was from, he got critted at one point I think, uh, a couple of times 2 days. He got a total of 9 XP, 1 physical and 1 mental. Fantastic. Femme Patal has hit rank 5, she got 10 XP, 1 martial, 1 physical, she's 2 skill points, 1 more offense point and 1 strategy point. 
The gods are with you. Blood Bank has hit rank two. You got a total of five XP, one metal, and two skill points. The warband is getting stronger. And now the warband has um, hit rank six. We've got five XP. So our cart can now store three more items. And yeah, so overall, nothing too interesting there. Let's um, pay our treatment cost and then our upkeep. Okay, we definitely don't want to disband our warband. <coughs> now, um, let's spend our points. So, uh, we're going to go for weapon skill on Wambram. Um, cave in, we're going to go for, I think, accuracy. Cliff can um, go for an extra strength. Axel um, is going to continue down the agility route. Mammy's boy, um, let's up his um, accuracy and then up his, let's see, um, I think intelligence, yeah. Sip, uh, we can up his intelligence and his accuracy. Love bite, um, we can up her, let's see, let's go with alertness. Nick, um, we're gonna go for agility. Yeah, agility for now. And alertness. Femme fatale, um, let's go agility. And then um, let's start um, moving her accuracy up. Blood bank, um, he can go for, I think, alertness. Oh, yeah, there we go, alertness. And then we're back to the start. Okay, and then um, we're gonna move on a couple of days. We could do some some training actually let's um, have a look at if we can do some quick training here so let's go skills um, so on he's got dead stench so he should get dead stench too okay that should um, remind me that zombies equals uh, dead stench Okay, and he's injured. She could definitely do with um, some more skills. Let's give her a sidestep. Okay, and uh, that's it then. That's all of her money. Let's spin on the days. New hired swords are available. You have been okay. rewarded. Now here's our rewards. We've got 150 gold, um, a blue rock trinket, blue clothing we're going to give to um, one of the zombies, the blue light armor we're going to give to someone as well, and the blue heavy armor can go on, um, go on Wambram here. So let's get that done. So he looks spend it now um, also he should be able to get a blue hammer which he can it's about time we gave him some blue weapons given that um, everyone else has been getting blue weapons um, let's put a blue hammer on cave in um, then cliff can have the I'm gonna go um, with a sword just for the extra crit chance, and he can have the blue clothing. Okay, and uh, so who's going to get 
some of this other tasty stuff. So he's already got a blue weapon. Uh, he's pretty well decked out. He's got a blue weapon. Uh, she's got a blue weapon. So does he. She doesn't. Um, she could maybe use this. Yeah, let's use this great hammer until we get her a um, blue halberd. Then um, Blood Bank can use the blue light armor. And yeah, overall that's pretty good. Um, how about the. So I think he can switch. No. Okay. No, I think. We pretty much got maybe everything, yeah, we got everything that we can use on the guys. So let's sell off what we don't want to keep. Okay, that can go. Uh, the great player can go. The poultice can go. The um, luck trinket can go. The shield we keep. Um, the sword will keep, the antitoxin can go, flail can go, actually both flails can go, and the madcap mushrooms, um, this heavy armor can go, and this light armor can go, and then the normal clothing can go as well, and these normal shields, and then the axe um, and the dagger, we'll keep the hammer for now. And then uh, one final check, I just want to check those who have shields. So obviously not those guys. Uh, both of our zombies. Okay, so they both have blue shields, so we've no need for the other shield. So we can sell that other uh, blue shield. Oh, we got have we got another one as well. Yeah, we got uh, even more, so we can sell that. And then um, we can do we need to spin on another day? Yeah, one more day for the training. Let's do that. Okay, and then let's check here. So we got um, a brutal um, mark for death, a deadly mark for death, and a normal crusher will. So we're not going to do the normal. String these two. So we've got good and good, and good and good. So. Um, it's a no-brainer really, we're going to go for um, this one here, the pillagers. But that will be next time, and it does bring us to the end of this episode. If you want to be informed when new episodes are available, please subscribe. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like. And if you want to chat, please leave a comment below. I really do hope to see all of you next time. Goodbye.